What is up YouTube? Thrift School over here. We are going thrifting today. I also have a huge FBA uh, box back there. About 100 items or so. Uh, some really high dollar items. It's not so high dollar items. It doesn't matter. It all fills up the Amazon inventory, but we are going to go thrifting. Um, I don't know if this is going to be a multi-thrift video or just one thrift store, and I might break it up into multiple videos. You guys will have to wait and see. All right, guys, here we go inside the thrift store. Uh, it's actually not that busy today. There's a lot of uh, empty spots. Normally, all those spots are filled. So, we shall see. I think today is Senior Citizen Day, which means the place probably got ransacked this morning. I think if you're over, uh, yeah, every Wednesday, 50% off if you're a senior. I'm not. All right, so first things first are the video games. They're right up front by the door, so it's the first thing I like to look at. And 99 cent games seem like a no-brainer. This one's four bucks, but I'd never heard of it before, so I throw it in the cart. Both those didn't really end up being worth anything, so I believe I put them back. I might have gotten the Blazing Angels game. Call of Duty Black Ops 2 for $3, not super valuable. This is kind of a hidden gem sports game. FIFA Soccer 13 for the Wii U. Keep an eye out for it. It's still selling for about $15 or so. Not bad. It used to sell for quite a bit more, but prices always fluctuate. So you got to, you know, always scan things in. And what we're going to do very soon is start scanning things in so you can see exactly how I do it. So I'll just pull up my Amazon seller app, hit the barcode. It gives me all the information right here on my phone. It tells you how much you're going to make after the fees. And that's only $2.10 gross proceeds. It costs $2, so it's not worth it. We will put that back. This is only a 99 cent DVD, so I have to scan it in. And some of you might wonder why I don't end up grabbing this. Take a look at this. It's selling for about 20 bucks, but that rank, 427,000, that is super high. It's gonna take forever to sell if it even does sell. So I had to leave it behind. My Horse and Me is a game that isn't worth too much as you'll see, but there is a version called My Horse and Me Go for Gold that is worth a crazy amount of money, as you guys can see up here on the screen. Keep an eye out for it. I've only ever found it once thrifting, but you never know. You might come across it, and it's a game that looks like it wouldn't be worth anything, and it's worth quite a good amount of money. You could get close to $100 for it. Same thing with this Tetris Evolution game for 99 cents. It used to be worth about 15, 20 bucks. It's come down quite a bit, but I believe I do end up grabbing it for a dollar. Why not? Especially when games are complete, you could kind of charge a premium on Amazon. If these games on eBay are selling for five, ten, fifteen dollars on Amazon, you could sometimes add an extra five or ten dollars per game, especially if you're selling via Amazon Prime. And then we have all this media behind me, and we do end up throwing a bunch of that media in the cart that I will go over towards the end of the video. Take a look inside of the cart and you'll see, boom, we got records, we got DVDs, we got CDs, we got all that good stuff. But this thrift store sells giant bins of Legos for $125. Jeez, would you take the gamble $125 on a bin of Legos? I didn't see any minifigures or anything like that. I don't know. I think that's about the going rate on eBay. So I just left them behind. Didn't want to sift through them, sort through them. It takes hours and hours. Yeah, not really my type of thing. Now, if they were $20, $30, maybe even $50, I'd grab it because you could sell them by the pound. Um, but for me, I'm going to pass on them and try to go to a better section of the store. For me, a better section of the store are the toys. I love going through the toys, stuffed animals, board games, things like that. But look at the chaos in here. Everything's thrown all over the place. Didn't stop me, though. I did find a brand new sealed thing from 4M. The brand is 4M. I find these all the time. $3. They make a whole bunch of different kinds. And take a look at this right here on Amazon selling for $16. You'll make about $10 after all fees. After my $3, it's an easy 7 bucks. So we're going to take it, throw it in the car. It takes very little prep. Shipping on Amazon is very cheap, maybe a quarter to 50 cents. And we found some puzzles. The cart's looking pretty good. I see all of these stamps over here. At $10 a piece, though, that's a little high. You do get a lot of stamps in here. You might be able to make some lots over on eBay. But 
eh, I'm not going to spend 10 bucks. Now, if this in, if all of these stamps were in a big bin for $10, I'd probably take the gamble. But after all is said and done, that's probably $100 in stamps. That's just way too much money to spend on something that I don't know very much about. But I do know that some of them can have some value. And then we take a look at the baggies. I love looking through these little bags. Sometimes you could get a nice lot of toys for a couple bucks. You can see $3 for that bag filled with miscellaneous toys. And you can find some cool Pokemon toys in here. Sometimes there's cards. I should have bought this. I don't know why I didn't. I completely forgot. $1.99 for an Ultra Pro deck box. And there's something in there. There could have been Magic cards, Yu-Gi-Oh cards, Pokemon cards. I don't know why I just left it behind. Did I make a big mistake there? Probably. We have this Monty Python and the Holy Grail PC game for $2.99. And it is brand new sealed. You gotta love when you find vintage brand new sealed games at the thrift store. It only sells for about 25 bucks, but I do end up buying it, bringing it home, and you guys saw that it is worth some pretty decent money. So I'm very glad about that. And then a random kind of clothing item i'm not sure it's a costume piece and i've always had really good luck with costume pieces but it's a mario hat and mustache for 99 cents brand new this sold on amazon very fast for me i'll show you guys exactly what it's going for great rank 23 dollars and 74 cents after fees after what i paid for it i'm making about 16 dollars that's not bad that is a uh, pretty easy money right there and then look at this fan this dyson fan a hundred dollars seems like it's priced up but you never know gotta look on ebay and yeah you know 133 154 80 150 i'm not gonna pay a hundred dollars to sell something for 150 because you gotta pay for shipping you gotta pay for fees you're gonna break even so have to leave it behind sadly if it was a quarter of the price it would have been coming home with me Taking a quick look at the electronics section, we have a Vizio TV for 25 bucks. I do need a new testing TV. I have one that looks just like this to test video game consoles. And speaking of video game consoles, here's a Wii right here for 20 bucks without cords or cables or a remote. Not going to do that. But, you know, I like having a testing TV in multiple different spots. I have one at my storage where I... Uh, prep a lot of my items. I have one at my house in my office and I have one in the basement because <laughs> I'm always testing different things in different places uh, where I store different things. So it's always nice to have an extra TV laying around. Uh, I do end up leaving it. I didn't want to spend 25 bucks. I find them all the time at different thrift stores, usually on half off day for you know, five, ten dollars. But 25 bucks, not a bad deal. Taking a look, we got a Phillips uh, wake up kind of hue light. Take a look at this price. These things sell really, really well. Uh, they want $7.99. That is not a bad price for a wake up light. This is definitely going to be coming home with me. But as we uh, notice off to the side, there is another wake up light hatch restore. This one's $50, but it's still worth it. So we're throwing it in the cart. We got both of the wake up lights. We got some vinyl records, Britney Spears, and I think think we're gonna head out of here the line is starting to form let's head out of here let's actually go to another store and see what we could find let's try to double this up all right guys just got out of the thrift store back there and we got a pretty good amount of stuff as you guys can see in the cart lots of solid finds this vinyl record right here really surprised me five seconds of summer selling for over a hundred dollars uh, i've sold this before so i knew that was going to be worth money i think i got 40 or 50 dollars out of it on ebay um oh great my receipt is missing uh oh there it is yeah everything ended up costing me 162.38 so a little expensive i did find some more sealed games uh nothing amazing i got table tennis for four dollars should make like almost ten dollars on that and then i got another wii game i don't know where it is oh no it's right here Phew. Uh, some gold gym cardio workout not a lot of money in those but there is money in them uh, some other pretty cool things we're gonna go check out there's a game exchange over there and I sometimes find really good deals on CDs DVDs toys and stuff in there the video games it's harder because that's what they specialize in but you know any DVDs or anything or CDs I do end up finding now I did get one thing for myself and Chino man I think it's Brendan Fraser I saw it next to Bedazzled, which I just watched the other day again. I love that movie. Hilarious. Uh, 
Well, you know, you go out there and you give 110% and you want to play good and, you know, you hope you play good. I think we play pretty good tonight. But I've never seen this one. For 99 cents, I figured why not? So let's get everything in the back of the van. I bring boxes with me so I can just get everything to sit inside of them. And then we're gonna go check out the next place. All right, so I was just here not long ago and I grabbed a bunch of stuff. I don't think they get as much in as the thrift stores, so who knows how, you know, what kind of new stuff they'll have today, but let's check it out for sure. Hopefully we find some gems. Right here inside Game Exchange. Pulled out a nice stack of sealed action. games for me. But uh, none of those were worth anything, but we did get a few little cool ones here. Sekiro or Sekiro. Yokai Watch for six bucks, all brand new sealed. NFL Blitz 2003 for $10. Mint Seal, which is nice, still has the hang tab on it. That's cool. I was looking at PS3 prices, a little too high, so I'm not gonna mess with those. There were a few other sealed games here, but I was debating this Connect Adventures for $3.99, but eh, they're only selling for like $12, $13, I don't know. This Forsaken was kind of cool at $5, but I think I'm gonna leave that behind because the whole back is cracked up and seals a little ripped down below. But yeah, I am definitely getting these. They're giving me this for free. It's a Pokemon card holder. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. It's uh, from 1999. It's Japanese. <laughs> it's actually really cool. So that's a nice little throw in. We got these. And we're going to look up some more stuff while we're in here. Maybe some box sets. And there's some Funko Pops right there. It's a pretty awesome store. Look at that guy. Super cool. And uh, it's a nice little stop right after the thrift store since they're so close. Ooh, see ya. 3DS XL 150. Um, all right, we're gonna keep scanning. My buys have been growing. I ended up grabbing a projector. Works great, it's 1080p Epson for $120. And it came with free movies. So I was able to pick out movies. I got The Wrong Turn 3, Nerve, District 13. Uh, I've seen the first one, never this one though. And Overboard with Kurt Russell and old Goldie Hawn. So pretty sweet free movies to get. I was able to pick anything that was uh, $7.99 less. This one was a kind yeah, of a throw in, I guess. Uh, my sealed games, I found a little wireless link adapter for seven bucks, make seven on that. So I guess time to keep looking through some accessories, see if we could find anything, slip through the cracks. Look at this. Never heard of this World Driver Championship. Thought I knew every N64 game. Sight bike, 13 bucks, battle tanks. Huh. Well, let's take a look. There's a lot of games here. A lot of games here. They, oh, they have some rock band stuff. I think it's overpriced though. I sell the drums pretty regularly, but $70, and that's a rock band one drum set. So not worth it. This could be worth it. $80, too much. What else do we have here? PS3 games. The video games are all gonna be priced, you know, pretty regularly, $8.99 for like a rock band. Six bucks for regular rock band, that's, game's been going up, six bucks. What I like to do is come into game stores like this and look for the cheapo sports games, if they're a dollar or so, and buy every single one because then I have really good replacement cases for whenever I buy games. So I'll do that with uh, PS2 because, you know, with the PS2 games, they all have, uh, it's a little memory card slot. So you want that when you're doing replacements. So you have an authentic case and you could charge more money. So if I could find cases for 99 cents, like these Maddens right here, whoa. Uh, not, oh yeah, this one's also 99 cents. There we go. And then you have an authentic PS4 case. Not bad, but I, I already have a bunch of those so I don't need to worry. I think Destiny is also 99, no, 299 here. So, yeah, we're gonna keep looking, seeing what we can find. They have a really large toy section also. Take a look at all these toys. We got some TMNT figures. Looks like $12.99, $9.99. I know nothing about these, so I'm not gonna bother looking up all these. This guy's pretty cool. I don't even know who that is. Looks like he's missing part of his tail though. 
Got some bigger figures right here. 30 bucks, these are newer ones though. These are all like wholesale. I'm sure they buy them just to flip them. Oh, this guy's cool from Toy Story. But yeah, lots of cool stuff here. Some really old magazines here, it looks like. 1999 for these. Pretty neat things. Oh, some graphic novels. I might actually scan some of the graphic novels. I've done really well with those in the past.